high flying action is what we've seen all weekend here at the Rover Motocross track. And MX1 second heat coming up right now, but great to see TRP giving back to the fans. The TRP team getting an autograph session in there. And leave me a big, big uh, hit with the fans. And so is our rider profile man, Tristan Purden, last year's MX1 champion. <laughs> I was born in East London on the 2nd of April, 1997. My dad used to ride back on, on the farm and that, and then he did some few races, but not too seriously. And then he helped my cousins with racing, and then eventually I got their bikes, what they used to ride. So from a small QR to a Pee 80, and then it carried on from there. It wasn't the greatest back in the day on 50s and see I was a nobody coming 10th, just cracking it and I think it was 2011 on Pro Minis when I finally got my first national win and then I won that championship and then it just was like a snowball effect and then sponsors came and then eventually now we are. I'm not too sure, maybe farming or something. <laughs> In South Africa, I used, Freddie Free used to help me back in the day, so I used to look up to him. But nowadays it's Kerem, because I love his style, and it's cool still racing against him, and he's, he's so nice. He doesn't, like, we have clean battles with him. He's not like some other guys who moan, and, like, it's pretty good with racing with Kerem. Rover. Monday I go do a little bit of work in the gym, and then Tuesdays, I ride, do motos with my dad and that on the farm. And then on Wednesday, I'll probably morning gym and then do some cycling or running or and it's just the same. And then weekends, probably go to Shane Otterford's track in East London and ride there. Or if there's races, do the races. I think Chad is one of them. Travis Pastrana and uh, James Stewart. 21 riders about to line up now for the second heat of MX1. Who is going to have what it takes here? Whew, it's going to be so close. Caleb Tennant has been absolutely incredible this weekend. Has he got what it takes to take a double here and start the season? Oh, once again! Can you believe it? Matt Van Garlen stuck in the gate. He's not having a good day of it coming out of the start gates. And look at that. The track is now churned up big time. And Reynard, the sand specialist, has been caught out in it. Kira Fitzgerald leads things out. Ryan Angeli right on his tail. Matty Milan closing in rapidly. And coming through. Oof. God, these guys just handle these 450s. On a track that has now become very treacherous. You've got to find the right line. You cannot afford to make any mistakes. You've got to have so much fitness because you're going to be extremely tired, particularly the guys who've gone back to back for MX1 and MX2 here today. 316 coming through there is Cam Udendahl. Good start from him. Making his way up into the top 10 initially. Let's see if he can keep it there. It'll be a hard day in the saddle for them. Purden looking to come through as well. There you can see just on the back end of Caleb Tennant. The two of them very evenly matched in terms of lap times. And just behind being forced on there. Manny Milan and Damon Stratum. As they start to get into the thick of this MX1 battle. It's going to be a bit of a chess game here because you've got to take into account, first of all, the track conditions. And then when you get up close and personal like these two have got, who is going to have what it takes? That's Husqvarna versus KTM and a change up for the lead as Matty Milan now hits the front. Kieran Fitzgerald comes straight back at him though and he's not going to let him have it his own way. Kieran Fitzgerald also, remember, not a sand specialist. He's definitely just hanging in there trying to get a little bit of damage limitation to the championship points. The man who's not looking to get anything other than damage at the front end is Purden and he's coming through rapidly. Wow, Tristan Purden just putting in one of the fastest laps we've seen all day and that's on a track that is now completely rutted up. Look at him, he's just flying around the outside. He's finding lines that other riders are not even thinking about. Using slightly different inside lines as they go through the fly section, heading towards Bridgestone. They're railing around the top end of the berm. Comes from one side into the inside this time. So top to bottom and gets through there on Caleb Tennant. Tennant, who's had a fantastic day, taking three wins out of the four starts so far, is now being shown the way around by Tristan Purden. And maybe that's a good thing, because Caleb Tennant, I think he's going to just hook onto the back end of Purden and go with him. And that's exactly what we're seeing as they close down. Now onto the back end of that Red Bull KTM. And Kieran Fitzgerald's in trouble here. Look at how Purden is coming. 
Burton is not, he's up to second. There we go, in the air. Wow, <laughs> that is an incredible maneuver there. Tristan Burton uses the inside line of the finish line jump and the finish line turn. And then they come through just one and into EVS. Another change up coming. Here comes Purden onto the leader. We're going to see Maddie Milan fall back into second. And Purden take the lead. There it is. Purden's through. He's got up to the front end and he's now pulling away. The Yamaha leads ahead of the Husqvarna. Tinsuala out of Africa, Yamaha out front on the Q4 fuels. Husqvarna. And you can see just how hard Maddie Milan has had to work. And he's thinking to himself, hang on a second. I had a decent margin here. Where did he come from? Well, I can tell you something, he's not holding anything back here. That is for sure. Justin Burton now looking to get away from the rest of the field. Looks like Caleb Tennant has got through there on Kieran Bashield and on his teammates. So a bit of a battle between the two Husqvarna's and Jaden Ashwell starting to make his way to the top end too. Look at Reynard. Good recovery from him. Reynard now looking to probably get into the top five if he keeps going the way he is. Here's the leader. That is Burton. Behind him, Milan now chopping again with uh, Caleb Tennant. So Tennant and Milan having a little in-house in fight there between the Husqvarna's. And if they're not careful, Kieran Fitzgerald's going to make them pay. Fitzgerald is not too far off the back end. Has Tennant gone through yet again? Yes, he has. He's got through on Milan. Milan now down to third place. Maddie Milan, I think, made a mistake heading up the back section. And oh, he's made another one. Milan just trying too hard. He's gone out the front door there, picks the bike up, and hopefully he can get going again. He needs to get going quickly because Kieran Fitzgerald was not too far back behind him. More importantly, Jaden Ashwell's just gone through on him as well. So there's a problem there. Maybe he's feeling the effects. It's been a long, hard day in the saddle for all these riders. And that's a good effort there to get back up and finish the race. Check it, flag is out though. It's going to be Tristan Purden who takes the win. A magnificent effort there. And he's also going to take the overall for the day as well. Purden taking the win in the Out of Africa Yamaha team ahead of the Q4 Fuel Husqvarna of Caleb Tennant and Red Bull KTM's Kieran Fitzgerald. Let's catch up with Tennant after a fantastic day in the saddle. First race was great. Uh, got off to the whole shot, which made life a lot easier. And kind of just got to uh, ride my own race. Uh, yeah, getting the whole shot, you can just manage your own pace, be smooth, and uh, it worked out perfect. Um, heat two uh, was a crazy battle. Didn't get off to the best start. Uh, got out around sixth or seventh, and then uh, made passes. It was just a, a, a big bunch of us fighting for that lead. So uh, awesome battles. I'm happy to still walk away with a second in the second moto. So uh, I ended up getting one, two. Tristan got two, one. So. Uh, tied on points for first, but uh, obviously because he won the second race, uh, he gets the overall, but uh, all in all, good days racing, you can lose points really quick in the first round, so uh, really happy to walk away uh, tied for first. Tied points, but the red plate stays with Purden after winning the second heat. It was a, quite a tough race, I had a bad start, and I knew how to get past Caleb quite quickly, and then as I passed him, I put my head down and got to the front and just kept pushing. I had so much fun on my Yamaha, and I just like to thank all my sponsors out of, out of Africa, Yamaha, Monster Energy, TRP, Fly, Von Zipper, Rental Handlebars, and everyone who's backing me here. Can't thank them enough. Thank you. There it is, the podium for MX1s. We are in for an epic battle this season. There's no doubt about it. We head down to Maritzburg for the next round of the TRP National Championships down in Thunder Valley. It's on the 7th of April. Come and join us if you're in Natal. Round one of the TRP National Motocross Championships from Rover in Port Elizabeth is proudly brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Thor Riding Apparel. And their associate sponsors.